Now, with the help of Smart Dimension, specify the dimension of the sketch. Now select the option of fillet from the sketch tool and then select all the points or the edges on which you want to apply the fillet. And then also specify the fillet radius. And then click OK. Now you can see that the wireframe of the side protection member is ready. So exit the sketch. Now select plane 10, go to the option of sketch and then select sketch. Now sketch another side protection member in the similar way that you have done previously. Now hide the planes. Now you can see that the wireframe of the row cage is completed. Now select the option of structural member from the weldments. Now specify the configuration of the structural member that you are going to use. Now select all the lines on which you want to create the circular pipe. Now remember that in a single family you can either select adjacent members or you can select the members which are subjected in the same direction. For the members who are not specifying these conditions you have to create a new family.
After selecting all the lines, click OK. Now you can see that the roll cage is ready. Here you can notice that a proper joint is not formed. So you have to edit this. For that, click on the pipe option and then click on the option of edit feature. Now you can see all these pink dots, so click on them. Now adjust their degrees to adjust the type of joints that is formed. You might have thought that we could have easily built half part of the roll cage and then mirror it about the front plane so we could get the full roll cage. But remember that here we are trying to build a roll cage which is similar to the product that will be manufactured.
Now we have to add one more diagonal bracing member with the overhead protection member. For that, click on the 3D sketch and then click on the option of edit sketch. Now specify the dimension of this line with respect to other sketches with the help of smart dimension. Now click on the pipe and then select the option of edit feature and then select this member also. Now hide all the sketches. Now select all the bodies. Then go to the option of render tools and then select the option of edit appearance. Now choose the color that you want to apply on the roll cage. Then click OK. Now select the arrow on the left of the pipe and then select the option of sketch and then select the option of edit sketch. From here, you can edit the cross-sectional dimension of the pipe as you wish. Now you can see that there is some error in this joint because the pipe should have been extended till the end. So to correct that, click on the trim or extend option in the weldments. Now select the member that you want to extend. Then select the member till which you want to extend the previous member. Now you can see that the member is extended. Now click OK. So you can see that now the joint is corrected. Now similarly for the joints having the same error perform the same method. Well, there is one thing missing. There is the mounting of the seat which is missing. So for that, we have to edit some previous sketches. So go to the sketch and then select the option of edit sketch and then draw the member on which seat will be mounted.
Now specify the dimension of this member with the help of smart dimension. Now similarly edit the other half of the sketch. Now click on the pipe and select the option of edit feature and then select the members that you have drawn now. Now apply the color on this member with the help of edit appearance. Now there should be some supporting member between these two members. So to draw a member you have to edit the previous 3D sketch. So click on that and then select the option of edit sketch. Now select the line option from the sketch tool and then draw a lateral member between these two members. Now with the help of smart dimension specify the dimension of this member with respect to other members. Now select the pipe and then select the option of edit feature and then select this member that you have drawn now. So create a new family and then select this line. And then click OK. Now apply the color on this member with the help of edit appearance.
Now hide all the visible sketches. Now you can see that our roll cage is completely ready. Now save this part. That's all in this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel EGS Racers. Thank you.